Hello everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the fourth video of this tutorial series called Cloud Computing with Microsoft Azure. Now in my last video, I have already discussed the basic concept of Azure and different services what Azure is providing to us. Also, we have visited the Azure website, Microsoft Azure website, and we have found many information there and uh, different products that Azure is uh, giving us to use. And also we have seen that uh, like the current market standard where the cloud computing market is going and also how Azure is standing in the market, right? That was an informative video, guys. So if you missed that video, I would request you please go and watch that video. The link will be there in the description and also you can find the link right now here in your screen. Now, I would also recommend you to watch my previous two videos like for cloud computing that I have uploaded to clear the concept of different cloud services that are available and different cloud deployment models. Because as I mentioned in every video, those are the very basic building block you need to understand before you move on to Azure. So once you clear that concept, Azure would become very, very easy for you. Trust me. All right. Now in today's video, as you can understand with the title of the video that we are going to go and we have, will have our free Azure account. Yes, uh, we will sign up for Azure and we'll have our free Azure account. Now I'll quickly go to the Google and I'll search for Azure like we did uh, the last time. I'll go to the azure.microsoft.com. This is the official website. Uh, we have already seen this website in our last video and we are going to click on try Azure for free. Now, before clicking that, uh, let's see why we need that free account, right? Why we are signing up for Azure free account. Now, the main purpose of this would be to, to practice the thing which you are learning. So from my next video, we will learn. First, we'll understand the concept. Then we'll go to the Azure portal and practice all the things. Okay, we'll create it. Uh, suppose for an example, that could be virtual machine, that could be an app service, that could be Kubernetes service. So we'll understand first the concept and then we'll uh, you know, try to implement it in the Azure portal. And for that, we need an Azure account. Now, also I've mentioned that Azure is going to give us, you can see it's going to give USD 200 credit. Now, what is this credit for? Because as we mentioned in our cloud computing uh, video that the concept of cloud service providers are they are going to give us a lot of services that you can use and uh, like Azure is giving us uh, different different services we have seen as we mentioned like uh, cloud is like pay as you go like the amount you are going to use for that you need to pay so when we are going to use the virtual machine we need to pay to Azure now Azure is saying that Take a trial of 30 days and 30 days we won't charge any money. Instead of that, we are going to give you credit of 2000, um, sorry, $200. It's almost like 14,500 uh, in Indian rupees and you can use that. I mean, that's a great opportunity actually and because we will be able to learn it. And also if you want to prepare for exam as your examination, so you need an Azure account to use it, to practice it, right? So that's the purpose of creating a free Azure account. And let's see, we'll know many more things. Okay, I'm gonna click on try Azure for free. And once I click that, it will now show me uh, the things that Azure is providing in the free services. You can see popular services free for 12 months. You're gonna get some services, popular services, that's 12 months free, one year and 25 services free always. Now, let me tell you, like once you sign up for the Azure, all you require two things. One is your Microsoft account, okay? And second thing, your credit card. You need a credit card because Azure, or even you can go for AWS, Google Cloud Platform, every cloud service provider, they're gonna take your credit card information because that's for, I mean like, uh, unique identity like uh, in the next time you you won't be able to use same credit card after one month if you feel like that i want to try it for another month you can do that but you have to use a different credit card and trust me i have done that a lot of time like this is a fifth credit card i'm using and uh, don't worry i don't have five credit different credit card but i'm just used from my uh, friends uh, from my parents so it's like that 
so you can easily use a different credit card to explore it more you don't need to pay a single money not a single money uh, will charge from your credit card or from your bank account trust me it won't be zero it would be just zero so once you verified your card so just i'm probably like uh, azure is gonna you know verify your card whether it's actually you so it will just uh, give you two rupees actually and that two rupees would be taken at the same time okay so this is something like that so maximum two rupees ultimately like uh, azure will pay it to your account to confirm it's your account and it will take back that two rupees that's it okay and one month you just use it without any uh, any problem and i will show you how you can maximize the utilization of the 14500 or the 200 dollar credit so don't worry just stay with me all right now uh, we are going to see few services uh, you can see uh, after you credit keep getting free services with pay as you go pricing so one thing i'm going to say like here we have two option start free or pay as you go so you are going to go for start free and pay as you go means it's like again you have to sign up with the credit card but uh, you're not gonna going to have a free uh, trial here you need to pay i mean your credit card uh, will be get charged after a month i mean that amount is also very less i have also tried this i mean like um, i mean it just depends actually see you are not like a company who is trying to get into azure you are just practicing it you are just testing it on your own so once you tested a virtual machine you can just shut it down and you can delete it once you shut down it won't take charge okay so the concept is like that uh, same for the storage same for the different different services so we'll see it uh, in our upcoming videos but uh, we're gonna we are gonna go for start free okay so i'll just show you the different services i was talking about like azure advisor app bot service app services so you can find all these services you can use there would be a lot of services and we'll try to cover as much as possible okay all right now we will just uh, click on start free quickly and as i mentioned we need two things like one is the uh, your uh, microsoft account one is your credit card now already you can see i have signed up with the or sign in with the uh, tech with pre at tech with pre one at outlook.com and you can see you already have an azure free account it's saying that already i'm having a free account azure so i'll just sign out to just show you the page how it looks like uh, once uh, you are gonna try it so i have created a uh, microsoft account and you know it's just a free so if you just go to google and search for a free microsoft account microsoft not office but account uh, that uh, site you need to go sign in or create your account today and create a microsoft account and here you need to provide your uh, now you can do two things here now you can uh, use your existing gmail account or yahoo account to just uh, sign up for azure i mean sorry sign up for microsoft account first and uh, that can be possible also like this option or if you want to create a new email address totally for azure like hey i want to use a totally different email address you can create it by clicking this option and i have created my like take with pre one and i have chosen the outlook.com you can choose also hotmail at the same time and then you need to provide a password and then it's done okay let me quickly create another outlook account uh, to show you the page how it looks like so let's see we take with pre two not sure whether it's available or not it's available uh, let me choose a password So this is just i'm showing you uh, the process uh, so that you can quickly understand it because i already have created my email account and also i've logged into azure now there is a puzzle okay here we go all right that's fine great done your account is ready now you can use this account uh, just to sign up to microsoft azure i'm gonna copy this email id and i will go it and choose another account go next so once you provide your email id now it will ask you for a few more details which you need to provide again like uh, all your information your country first name last name email id phone number and once you fill up that you need to provide the information for your card okay so i have already registered it uh, let's see uh, let's do it again show you 
Here we go. Phone number would be I'll just choose to text me to verify and I'm gonna receive a number verification code or OTP you could say then I'm gonna click verify code it's now verified you can provide uh, organization name pan ID is optional so I'm gonna agree it and I'm gonna choose next okay I need to provide the organization okay let's provide tech with pre uh, that could be anything guys I mean not like your office organization or something like that you can provide any information this is just required for sign up so once I hit next it will ask me for my card details now I've already used my card so I won't be able to use it but I will show you uh, the page and that's it I mean like once you enter the card information you're gonna have an OTP in your phone and you're gonna put it in the page you can see uh, we will make a temporary authorization on this card but you won't be charged unless you upgrade so you won't be charged unless you manually choose to upgrade from free subscription to pay as you go subscription all right don't worry i will upload a separate video for that i mean subscription to make your understanding but at the moment you can enjoy with your free azure account so here you need to provide your name card number expired date cbv address and state city etc and once you hit sign up it will just confirm uh, to your bank account like i mentioned it probably azure is gonna put two rupees in your account or something like that and that would be taken also <laughs> so it's like uh, you're not gonna pay anything you don't need to pay okay and once you have all the information provided then you will be redirect to a page that is uh, let me just i need to sign in with my another uh, microsoft account because I just log in with the two, take with pre two, and this is not my account, so I'll just switch to take with pre one. I need to provide my password. So I'll stay sign in, and you can see. So this is the address of your Azure, that is the portal dot azure dot com. Remember this address. This is the address we are gonna use and this is your page you can see you will create credited 14,500 credit that is remaining for one month okay so this is the amount azure is providing and this is the place which we are going to use throughout our video to create different different services you can see we have virtual machines app services storage account many more information but uh, we are not going <laughs> to go into this today so today's video is all about sign up for your free azure account i hope guys you enjoyed the video and you followed the video Congratulations, now you have your own Azure account. Okay, and from the next video, we'll try to explore it more. All right, so this is it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you find it helpful, please hit the like button. And uh, also, if you have any doubt regarding sign up process, please ask me in the comment section. I will definitely guide you. And please share this video to your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye, take care. Thank you.